Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and obviously I've managed to snap a super big interview uh, with some big name. <laughs> you probably recognize it, but if you don't, this is Mike Norris, uh, obviously a uh, film writer and everything, and he's got some movies coming up here as well. Uh, but Mike, will you tell everyone a little bit about yourself and who you are? Wow, you know what? I guess who I am can be summed up really easy. I think the most people know that I'm the son of Chuck Norris. So <laughs> right. now that we got that out of the way, that's huge and that's a blessing to me to be his son. But um, very thankful that I've been able to kind of follow in his footsteps, um, which are very big footsteps, but doing films that expose um, truth as mine know it. Um, and I'm very, very excited about that. And I'm so excited to be here with Lisa Haven. Look at this, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yes, I, I had I had those made for the here the Watchman conference here that we're at. So yeah. super amazing. But with that, I, I I wanted to ask you so many questions because there's so much that you that you that you guys involve like Amerigeddon and uh, what's going on there. Yeah. But well, you know what's interesting about Amerigeddon and 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 I'll be really straight up with you about that. Amerigeddon may have saved my life because. Look, before I did Amerigeddon, you know, we were making movies that were faith-based, uh, kind of surface-level films, and um, with Amerigeddon, to me, it opened up a whole world of new truths, um, which is the media lies to you. They are force-feeding you what they, whoever they are. It could be Illuminati, it could be New World Order, whoever it is. But the media is a shill for these people and they are just shoving information down our throats at such a pace that people are getting brainwashed by it. Um, so with the mayor again, what we did was, it's a, a story about an EMP going off over the United States, knocking out the power grid and kind of, you know, how the United Nations comes in and martial, uh, martial law is declared, coming to take your guns away. Um, so it was a very important movie, but what I learned with Amerigeddon is that I wasn't prepared. I was not prepared before that movie. I, I didn't have, uh, whatever, 60 days food, water, yeah. whatever. I wasn't prepared mentally. I wasn't prepared spiritually, I, and I wasn't prepared physically. Um, so I'm very thankful that Gary Haven gave me the opportunity not only to direct that film, but really to also instill some life lessons that you know I'm now applying even at my semi-advanced age. So it, it's it's really great, and and so I'm excited. We're uh, and then once again we were talking. I'm starting a new film yes. Monday. Um, <laughs> you, you know, yeah, I, I fit fit in this uh, uh, Watchmen conference, and just so everybody knows, this is the first person I met, and I was starstruck. So anyway, <laughs> um, but yeah, come Monday we start filming a new movie. It's called the um, the Crossroads of Hunter Wilde. Wow, and that's the first you guys have heard of that, right? It's the first time I've ever said it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, to anybody. Um, but it, it deals with spiritual warfare, you know. And I would hope that um, my thoughts writing this screenplay were if something like this were to happen um how would i how would i deal with this situation in a post-apocalyptic america where all that is true is the word of god and the enemy is out to kill you and destroy you how could i how would i react to that and that's kind of the genesis of how uh, i started this project so We'll see, we start filming on Monday. We got a great cast. It is all Texas made, Texas talent. Um, Hollywood will not be involved one little bit in any part of this movie, no Hollywood. Good, that'll make it a million times better. <laughs> so. Well, yeah, and, and you know, Hollywood absolutely does, uh, you know, everything they can to shut people like you and oh, I yes. down, uh, the media, um, so. Just really thankful, and it's great to be here at the Watchmen Conference to really uh, meet some new people, hear some new ideas, and, and I think it's a great that people with so many diverse ideas and thoughts can all come together in love, talk about it, agree, disagree, but it's all in love. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So with that, I know 
because that's why I love what, what you do. It's because, you know, we often, on my channel, we focus on news, Bible prophecy, mm -hmm. and what's going on, and you kind of bring everything that we're doing to life. And you say, okay, well, let's apply some of the truths that we're getting here to the actual film industry, mm -hmm. which the film industry completely ignores. Like, they took off movies like Revolution, mm -hmm. you know, and completely wiped them off, even though it was one of the biggest movies. It was one yeah. of my favorites, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> but, you know, during the season. But what do you foresee, I guess, in coming in America? What, what, what do you think America will look like in the next couple of years? Wow. Wow. You know... I th this is really how I see it. Um, I think uh, we were given a reprieve with Donald Trump. I think God just stepped in and said, here you go, and really left it up to us to figure it out. I'm afraid the divide is so great. The animosity on the left and the right, and I'm neither left nor right, you know. We're just Christian. I, yeah, we're, we're <laughs> believers. Um, but I, it, it frightens me that, like this conference, people can come together with different views and have a discussion. But in the real world, the divisiveness is so big that I'm afraid that may never be that gap may never be closed. And that's really sad. That is really sad because I have friends that are liberal. I have snowflake friends. <laughs> no. But family, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, you know, and you've, we've just got to learn to communicate with each other. But there's so much hatred right now that it, it, it it's it's a little bit frightening. But we do have, we do know our ultimate destination, and it is to be with the Lord forever and ever and ever. So the next couple of years are scary. Um, but we're going to have to live them. We got to get up every day. We got to go to work. We've got to, you know, show people we love Jesus. And but it, it, it's a, it's a it's a scary, interesting time. And I'm so glad I'm living in it. Me too. Me too. And you know, some of the things that happen. I mean, we just we just got to take it to God. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, and I agree 100. percent We got Donald Trump there, and I had put out a video the other day in which I stated America, we're kind of on uncharted waters. Uh, because we have, like you said, I feel too, you know, he's, God's given us reprieve mm -hmm. with Donald Trump, but because of the political, you know, nature, I mean, they're screaming, he's a Russian agent. I mean, even claiming channels like mine, because like we started off with media, the mainstream media in an attack, and, and I'm sure they're paying people to, to do kind of stuff, but they don't like alternative media and like Hollywood they're they're not gonna like what you're doing yeah, either yeah. so you're fighting the Hollywood monster if mm -hmm. you will we're, we're fighting uh, you know the media monster as well and I think what God wants to do is is um, bring you know industries like ours together yeah. and get the real truth out yeah. and that's why I think it's it's so so important yeah uh, what's your take on all no of that? I, I I agree with you 100% because um, it really does take a group to come together um, yeah. it, it really does and I was watching uh, I was watching your channel la uh, two nights ago and first I googled I wanted to know <laughs> okay let me google and right away at the top of Google what is it it's all this stuff after you attacking you yeah and I thought you know what why why is the first thing on Google attacking Lisa Haven why because the media doesn't want you out there. You've got a huge following of people that understand and believe what you say, me included. So, you know, I'm going to these, I'm going to lisahaven.news so I can get <laughs> my news. I've got others, I, you know, there's a whole group of great people that I want to get my news from. I'll turn on CNN. If I'm at home doing it, I love to turn on CNN because I could sit there and, and I look at that camera and it's like a demon spewing bile at me. And, I, and I, what scares me most is a lot of people believe it. A lot oh, of people yes. believe it. And I would really encourage everybody, and I know you've got a, your audience is good, but I would really encourage people to think with your mind, really try to get a clear vision and understand the news that people are bringing you because uh, the media, the mainstream media, is a lie, an absolute lie. It's disgusting to me, um, 
and there's no way I could support it, but I love now in this new age where people like you and Alex and I, just everybody has yeah. their platform and we can go see it and be informed and educated because people, you need to be educated. You've got to be educated to survive the next couple of years. You really do. Absolutely. Now, on, in the YouTube world, we deal a lot with censorship and mm -hmm. the bigger my channel gets, the more I can see it from Facebook to Twitter to YouTube here has <laughs> because no, no. they're Google on. But do you see the same in the Hollywood industry? And how do you see that well, in what you do? Yeah, you know, uh, Amerigeddon, we had to, uh, it was um, Sony Pictures picked it up. Um, we were doing a theatrical, theatrical release. Um, now, there was no nudity, no cussing, um, benign, movie about uh you know what's happening in the world but the mpaa gave us an r rating and i had to go in front of the board and go whoa wait a sec why are we getting an r rating you know i've seen a whole bunch of pg-13 movies that, that you know didn't you know and uh, so i knew right then I, it was so upsetting i'm just thinking how how can we be getting an r rating so yeah you know what hollywood will try to you know divert, push, pull, prod, and just cause chaos within, you know, us. And we're independent filmmakers. You know, I'm an independent filmmaker. I'm not backed by a studio or anything. Um, so yeah, I, I, I see it, um, I've lived it, but I'm not gonna let it affect me. I, and I'm bypassing Hollywood altogether now. There will be no uh, Hollywood in distribution or anything. And that's Christian, non-Christian, anything, nothing. We're just going right to the source. If you want our movie, this is where you get it. And, you know, come on, you can have it. We'll send it right, right. to you. So <laughs> it's, it's ridiculous because you, you have to, you really have to keep up with technology. I'm a little older. I kinda, you <laughs> I'm know, still working on it. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm a horrible Facebook friend. I found <laughs> out and all that stuff. But I need to learn and I need to adapt. And I think that's what people really need to do in all situations is adapt. You have to be adaptable. If you get so stubborn and stuck in your ways, you're, you're just going to be stuck. That's so, true. Yeah. Well, what would you think, uh, I guess, say in conclusion, what are um, some pointers, I guess, or maybe, uh, you know, how can people keep their freedoms in this culture? What can they do? What would you leave them with? Yeah, look. Really, we are in um, uncharted territory right now in our country, but it's also very exciting. I, all this stuff, when we hear about Russia and all this, I'm, I'm optimistic because I know, just like some, you know, we're stirring that pot, and that is that those globalists, those elites are, they're on their heels. So what I, I, what I would like to leave everybody with is that, look, um, for me personally, I have rooted me my family, my children, in Jesus Christ. That's what I've rooted everything in, and it's very important to me. Um, and my inner circle, my, my, the people I know and love are all with me and praying with me, and we're a group. And I think that's really important is to surround yourself with those kind of people. Um, and also, if I could, you know, our new movie, the, uh, what is it? We forgot the name. <laughs> the Crossroads of Hunter Wilde. We just discovered it yeah. today. So. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, we've got a, a Facebook, uh, Norse Moving Pictures. That's my wife and I's company. If you can come there and check it out. And Norse you Moving have a Picture. website, you have a like, uh, info you can leave. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just go to, yeah, Norse Moving Pictures and you'll find it. So, all right. Yeah, <laughs> all right. So, and, but thank you so much. It's, it's yeah. really an honor. And hey, if you, if you can get one of these shirts, this is the most comfortable shirt I've ever worn. I kid you not. <laughs> I'm picky about the kind. Oh, I'm like, it's I like so it. good. I love it. Well, thank you. Thank and you. I'm so blessed to have you on here. So, and you know, I just want to leave you guys too. You know, when the going gets tough, keep going. Uh, and, and that's what really got you and, and me even to where we're at. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we love you guys. And thanks again for tuning in. This is Lisa Haven and Mike Norris signing out.